Hey, you lovely lot, it's Friday. What does that mean? I don't know. It means different things to different people. For some people, it's like, oh, it's the end of the week. It's the end of the school week or the work week. I'm just shuffling the cards ready. Um, for us as home edders, it's not really got that, ah, oh, it's Friday feeling. But it does have a big dynamic for me because it's the day that I come and connect with you and bring you your cards. And we have a lot of interaction through that. And it's the evening where I open up a group chat, which I love because we like have a good chin wag and connection. I hear how you've all been doing and, um, you know, it's really nice knowing that I'm going to sort of spend the weekend connected with you. So I love that as well as the change in our house, which is um, my hubby works traditional work week. So we have that weekend feeling as a family, um, but it also brings some shifts that my that although I really enjoy of slowing down being together as a family all that but um it brings some things for my PDO which I think they don't enjoy so much things are busy outside harder to access and they can feel a little bit more restless in that weekend energy it's harder to satisfy than in the week because it's just busy going places and all that but yeah that's Friday so I've got our cards. In case anybody's new, welcome, welcome. These are my cards, which have got wet, because not the cards, but the box, and it's buckled a bit. So I'm just having to love it in its imperfection. Um, and it's these Wisdom for Healing cards. But my salt lamp, you can see behind me, the bulb went, and um, when they're not turned on, they tend to like ooze water. I didn't realize. And uh, it's leaked onto the box. Boom. But I'm just going to embrace its new appearance, right? Okay, so I'm going to pull three cards, which are going to go up in the Peace with PDA group, as always. And of course, I take a photo and put them up. Not everyone accesses the videos, but let's see which ones want to come. I just give them a shuffle and see if there's one. Oh, it's nice. Okay. Number one. I'll cover it up so you don't see the reveal. That's number one. Are you getting a feeling of that? Of course, you can see them better in the group, better in the group if you go and look at the pictures, if you like to see more detail. I'm a kind of like instinctive person, so I'll just like take a glance and know kind of thing. Um, but everyone feels into it differently. There is no right or wrong way to do it. Just your way. And I love those of you claiming your space sometimes. You're like, I want more than one. Yeah, you do you. Okay, often they come together with a bit of a theme as well. Like an obvious one. Okay, this is number two. And for our third option, we've got... Okay, so what I like to do on our Friday video is to pull a bonus card and do a bit of tapping on it. So this is for whoever is watching it, whenever you're watching it. It's my intention for it to reach you with something useful, moving you in your journey of being wonderful you with peace and freedom and ease. Okay. What's coming through? <laughs> right, so this card came, which is identify change. Okay, so I'll let you have a little look and then I'll read it to you. It says, identify one small change that you've been postponing that would improve your life. This could be anything from cleaning a drawer to getting a new hairstyle. Change symbolically can be frightening. And here's your goal, should you choose to accept it. Do, 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 do. Um, to recognise that you postpone even small, insignificant changes, because intuitively you know they can ignite powerful ones. Oh, I love that. Oh, I love that. So let's do some tapping for those who would enjoy that. So when we do EFT tapping, we're tapping on act points on the body. 
which send a bit like an electrical impulse through to the amygdala, which is that part of our brain that we all know and love so well, that sends out the fight, flight, freeze, fall response. It gives that, you know, panic, survival response rather than the higher thinking. And we are sending it that electrical impulse to soothe it, to calm it down when we're focused on something that causes us a disruption in our body's energy system. Think of it like static on a TV screen. It's like a bit buzzy, you know, and you might not feel it literally, but sometimes we do when we're really up in the feeling, you know, it's like we can't access our thoughts. We might even be shaky or whatever, but it's, it's more just that sense of I can't quite, I can't quite catch a more positive thought. I can't get myself calm and it's this static in our body's energy system. So we're really soothing it. So if something's coming to your mind, um, a change that you've been postponing that would improve your life. Let me just recap. A small change that you've been postponing that would improve your life. And notice that some, you might be putting it off in some way. So I want you to just notice if something's come to mind, if something's there, what is it? How do you know it's there? What are we gonna call it? Imagine you had to tell me now what it was. How would you say it? Just in plain language. And we're just going to find that thing. And I just want you to notice any thoughts, any associations, any physical feelings that come up for you or emotions that are rising. And when you've tuned in, as we say, we've, we've got the, the target that we are trying to do some tapping on. We're going to start tapping underneath the little finger here. And we're just going to tap. You don't need to hold your hand up and say, even though I'm putting off making this change. I deeply and completely accept myself. Okay, so we're just making friends with where we are. Even though, you can say after me again, I'm putting off making this change. I love and accept myself. And even if I keep putting off making this change, I love and forgive myself. Okay, so it's complete acceptance, just where we are without any expectation of change. We're just bringing in soothing and peace where we are, up on the eyebrow. And you can tap here and say, I'm putting it off on the side of the eye. I'm putting it off for a reason. Good, underneath the eye, even if I don't need to fidget, even if I don't know what that reason is. Good, under the nose, even if I've no idea why I'm putting it off. Even if I can't face it. Even if I just don't know how to make that change. Even if I don't feel safe and supported to make that change. Even if I don't feel ready to make that change. Good, back around to the eyebrow. I allow myself to consider making that change. I'm getting curious about what would happen if I did make that change. I wonder in what ways it would feel good if I made that change. I wonder how I could support myself to make that change. I know I'm worthy of making that change. I know I deserve it. I think it might feel good. I'm playing with the idea of making that change. I'm allowed to just be curious about what would happen if I did. Good, and have a breath. A shake, a stretch, whatever you need. I keep needing to wiggle because I'm moving my energy. Okay, one more round on the side of the hand again for me and say, and even if I really don't know how to make this change and I don't know, I don't know that I have what I need to make this change and I don't feel ready and I'm not safe and supported to make this change. I love and accept myself. 
even if it's not my time. I'm not ready. I need to do other things first. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even if I'm not sure I can. I don't feel safe and supported. I don't feel like I've got what I need. Even though I don't know if I deserve it. Even if I'm worried what will happen. I deeply and completely accept myself. Oh, good, and go up to the front of your eyebrow and just say, making this change. Being with the idea of making this change. Just getting curious about making this change. Allowing myself the possibility I could make this change. Just identifying the change. Hmm. Allowing myself the possibility I could make this change. <sighs> Inviting in the possibilities of making this change. Knowing I'm worthy of making this change. Lovely, okay, you can shake, you can stretch, you can move, you can have a deep breath, you can do whatever the heck you want, obviously. Um, I hope you enjoyed your cards. I will stick the three up in the group for today. And um, as always, I pop them on my amethyst crystal. For those of you who enjoy crystals, just to be with the vibration, um, as you are with the vibration of your own change as you're moving through that. And whatever message is there for you in the cards for the weekend, the week ahead, you don't have to be into woo-woo to enjoy the cards. They are, you know, something that you can access with a thought of accessing your highest thought, your highest self, your most grounded present self and following your intuition. It's something you can call on guides, angels, God, whatever your belief system is to guide you in. Or it's something you could just say, I'm just going to choose something at random and feel it and see, has it got something to offer me? Is it something I want to contemplate today? You do it your way. Okay, my loves, have a really, really good day and I will see you, if I don't see you in the group chat for the weekend, I will see you next week on video. Um, thank you for being here. Of course, anything you can do to share in your groups, to you know push the subscribe button, to like the video, put something in the comments, all that stuff, if it doesn't feel demanding and it feels possible for you, it just supports the um, videos in getting seen by those people who I want it to find, really, our community. So I do appreciate it when you can do that, that you do. Um, if you don't know where to find the group chat, you just need to join our Facebook group at Peace With PDA. And in that I put up, it's a Facebook thing called Chats and, and that will come up and you'll get an invite. And um, I know that you don't all want to be invited and it's really hard as an anime person to get it right and not be demanding because I don't want people not to see it and um, not be able to find it. But I know it's annoying for those of you who don't want it, but you can decline the invite and you can opt out of being invited to the chats as well. So those options are available if you don't enjoy that. Okay, lots of love. See you then. Bye.